Hi everyone, so the first one I'm going to talk about is negative space. Um, simply put, uh, the meaning of negative space is the area around and between a object. Uh, negative space can help you in drawing by outlining the object to reveal its form. By looking at these negative areas, our brains will turn them into simple shapes which makes it challenging at first to see them as shapes rather than objects. But once you get the idea of them as shapes, it becomes very easy to draw. This task will really help you in your observational skills. And we want you to uh, start learning how to uh, draw what you see rather than what you think you see. And to do that, um, you guys will need to use a pencil. And all you need to do is shade in the negative space shapes. So for instance, inside the shape of the uh, paper clip, you've got this rather curved shape at the end and elongated to the other end and it cuts at the edge. So you want to create that shape and shade it in. You can outline it first, but outline it really, really lightly and then shade in that shape. Try to do one section at a time as you're shading in those areas. You don't have to use a paper clip, you can use a sharpener or whatever materials that you have in front of you. Right, so the next task is scribble continuous line drawing. Now with this technique, it's like you're scribbling but with a purpose. So when you see a three-year-old scribbling, there isn't really a purpose. They're not trying to draw anything, but they're just expressing something. But for you guys with this task, I want you to purposely scribble in a way that looks like something. So for instance, here I've got a compass and I'm scribbling it out the outlines, meaning like roughly sketching the shape and the uh, outline of the compass. But I never really lift my pencil up. My pencil is pretty much glued to the paper and I'm making marks that goes in the direction that shapes the compass. Um, I'm constantly looking backwards and forwards, thinking about the shape of the compass, how thick or thin the line needs to become as I go up and I go down. You want to think about the shape and proportion of the compass where it looks like a compass. So be purposeful in the way you scribble and try to add some form of tone and detail and the texture of the compass so then it looks quite realistic in some form of way and from there you should be able to achieve the con scribble continuous line drawing. Right, so for the last drawing approach is continuous line drawing. Now the one rule with continuous line drawing is that you never lift your pen or pencil up. It needs to be on the paper throughout. The style of this is to have certain lines coming out and it's okay if you accidentally draw the line a little bit too far out. Just make sure when you come back around you correct that mistake. You don't need a rubber or for this and erase any mistakes. The whole point of continuous line drawing is to emphasize any outlines that you want to keep. So going back around that outline a few times, make it darker, add some tone, make, uh, make sure the lines shape the contour of that sweep for instance. So you want to add some kind of tone and texture to it. Here are a couple of examples as well. Um, you can even use a pair of scissors. If you want to try larger objects, they are usually easier to draw from observation. Um, here Sir is using continuous line drawing technique and he's adding the outlines and scribbling out the uh, tone around the scissors and so forth. So you could do something like this using a pen. If not, you can also try using the other technique, which is the scribbling technique. And here, so is shaping the spoon. You can see areas that are dark, areas that are light. So he's applying a range of tone and pressure onto his pen. And with the scribbling technique, you can see it's done it in a controlled manner where it, it is starting to form and look like a spoon. Even though some of the scribble outlines are a little bit outside of the spoon, it just adds a little bit more 
detail, making it look like the spoon is sitting on some kind of surface and it helps the spoon to stand out from the drawing as well. So you guys have a choice, you could use pencil and or pen.